What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there who are in hopefully enjoying your day. I saw a clip online that said uh, it was a I think it was a news anchor that was like moms just want to be left alone. <laughs> on Mother's Day just and she was like oh no that's not what it said and I was like no you right girl you was right the first time moms want to be left alone like just give me food and let me live and y'all go out and do whatever y'all need to do let mama stay here we're gonna chill at the house and that's it honey we work enough okay (laughs) moms work enough 24 7 7 days a week we tired do we want to spend time with you yes but on this day let us rest huh let us be one with the earth huh let us go to the beach by ourselves and just sit out there and be like Oof, i've done a lot and i still gotta keep going Cause what? Mamas don't stop. Mamas don't stop. Hey, mamas don't stop. Mamas don't stop. And it's another job in itself. Let's be honest. Let's be real. Being a parent is a job. Don't care if they get grown. You're always worried about your child, no matter where they are. So once you become a parent, life, they're like, oh, when they move out, nope. You always worry. And I get it now that I'm a parent. You know, I look back on things I did when I was younger. I was like, wow, <laughs> my poor parents. Uh, what do they think I'm doing? They don't know. And I don't know either. So what can you do? And every child is different. And you don't know how it's going to be. You can get advice from everybody. And still, you never know how your particular child is going to be that's it's crazy and you look back on pictures and you're like wow wow because I still can't believe that my child is going to be not a teenager anymore and I'm just like what where did and I just look at his baby pictures I'm like my sweet little poo bear where does the time the time flies you don't think it does because once you get pregnant you're always scared of how the first how birth that's scary huh can we talk about that birth is scary honey it is scary I don't know what is going on who did what people you go to the classes you take you take CPR you take um the birthing classes and then there's certain things people don't tell you about like when I was pregnant nobody told me that your feet grows huh your feet grows nobody tells me that morning sickness is 24 7 not just in the morning why do we call it morning sickness it's all day sickness every day it was the worst for me I was like dang and I have migraines and then you can't take nothing but Tylenol I'm Tylenol does nothing for migraines when you're pregnant (sighs) that's why I only have one child because I was like this I understand why some people stop at one um, because that's fair. It's children or it, children mess up your body, huh? Children just, they're in there and they're just like, we're taking all your energy. We're taking all your food, huh? I couldn't even hold food down for the first three months. <laughs> your body changes. You got to be poke prodded. Like a cow, I don't know, I was trying to think of an animal, but you got to take blood. And that's the other part was them drawing blood. My veins are small. They move. I learned that. And it's terrible because it's just like, it's just, I'm poking. You got to drink this to see to make sure you got to do this. You t- Then you can't breathe half the time because the baby is positioned and then you can't sleep because then when they start kicking and moving around, then you just like sleep. What is that? I don't know what real good sleep is anymore since I had a child. (sighs) It's a mini rant. Okay. Um, (laughs) And you think it gets better when they actually have a bed set bedtime? No, because you're trying to do stuff while they sleep because you didn't do it while they was awake because you're trying to do other stuff with them and then you <sighs> it's 
sometimes I just tell people, I'm like, hey, wait if you want to, you know, just wait if you can, if unless you know you're ready, huh? Just wait, wait, wait. As long as I want, wait, please, cause my God, um, not to trying to deter anybody on this beautiful uh Mother's Day weekend, but it's a lot, and then you you got to think of t- t- money. <laughs> Children are expensive. I saw uh, either it was on a another podcast they were talking about how much people spend when you have a child just for birth um it was like what twenty thousand dollars somewhere up in there just to have a child and then what if you have complications you don't know if you're gonna have complications or anything what's gonna happen I had complications and luckily it wasn't severe but you got to think about that. And then you got to think about the care you're going to give. Thank goodness. I had a good doctor and nurses really let's give a shout out to the nurses out there. Um, cause they do a lot of the work when you're trying to get in there and just trying to help you be that person. Just like, you can do it. You come on one more push. And I'm like, bitch, no, I don't want to. This is hard. <laughs> But I'm sure they've seen it all. So shout out to all the nurses and the doctors and also shout out to the doulas because I just want to give a shout out to them. I met some incredible black women doulas. Um, This was at the end of March. I did a um, photo shoot for um, doula week. I learned that there's a lot of things that doulas do and I did not know. I wish I had a doula when I gave birth, but hey, it's a good thing to know about and research and talk to people because it's it's ongoing care through the pregnancy, huh? I thought they just come in at the end. Hey, you having a baby? Here you go. Let's do it. Um, But I mean, you don't see a lot about black doulas. Or doulas in general. Um, I know I learned a lot about it when, who was it? Erica Badu um, became a doula. Now one of my friends, shout out St. Louis Cam. Um, she's becoming a doula. And uh, it was a great shoot. Um, they do some amazing things. Uh, so definitely check out uh, doulas. They are uh, all around. huh? Uh, a lot of the women came in from different um, states. So shout out to them. We had a good time at the <laughs> at the shoot, and I just I, I love meeting different people, learning about different things. Wish I had that when I was pregnant, but you know, now I know I'm not planning on having any more children, but if I know people who want to have children and want to do it natural and stuff, great. Um, I, my other friend, if you've seen my video of, um, a birthing story with my friend, Erica Dunlap, shout out to Erica Dunlap. Uh, she also had a doula. Um, this was still in the COVID era. Um, and she wanted to have a home birth, which lovely um I have video of that we tried and then she had to end up going to the hospital which you know it happens you have a birthing plan and it gets interrupted and you got to do what you got to do so thank god you know she at least had someone there to like hey girl we've done all I've done all I can I know you don't want to because she really didn't and sometimes you got to shift because the baby going to do what the baby going to do. <laughs> Shout out Rugrats. Um, that's all you can do. So you just got to be prepared, take precautions, make sure you have good um, doctors and nurses and it's find a good hospital. You know, it's all about bedside manner, really, because you don't want a bad experience because they'll turn you off from having children. Or just find a good place, you know, that people will listen to, okay, these are my problems, you know, because a lot of times, you know, black and brown people, sometimes we're not heard um, medically, okay? Um, I'm a strong black woman, but also I'm hurting, bitch. It hurts. (laughs) All of this hurts. So you got to think about people who are going to take what you're saying seriously 
and um, just find good help through that time because that's a very emotional, <sighs> trying, traumatic time. Okay, motherhood is a lot from conception to death, child, because <sighs> it's a lot. But um, I'm grateful for the experience. And, you know, I've learned a lot about myself and I learned about a lot about, you know, my child and yeah, it's a lot. So shout out to moms out there. Um, stay strong, <laughs> get your wrist. Okay. Uh, make sure that you are mentally okay I know this is a hard time especially for my friends who have lost mother, their mother as well um hugs and and love to each and every one of you who have lost their mom or has lost a child as well um that's hard and there's nothing I can say to make it better but I just like my heart goes out and I share all my love to everyone who's lost a child or a mother. Um, and this is this can be a hard weekend for some people as well. But just remember that you have people who love you. You need to talk, talk. If you need to be by yourself, be by yourself. Do what you need to do for you. It's all about um, your mental health because May is what? Mental Health Awareness Month. So please make sure that you are being better to yourself not be hard on yourself, speak kindly to yourself. I say that all the time because sometimes I curse myself out because I'm like, bitch, what you doing? But you got to be kind, give yourself grace during this time. Holidays are always hard for people, I feel, especially when you lose people and, you know, you got to learn to deal with it. It's really hard because you can't tell anybody. It's hard to to express it and it's hard to like put it in words which you really can't put it in words because everybody deals with grief in different ways I shut down um <laughs> I'm gonna be over here don't talk to me but that's just me um people have other ways of doing things you know just say hey I'm here for you if you need me and um if you need a hug I'm here hug it out Okay. Just letting people know you're there. That's it. You know, even if they don't want your help, because you know that people are not going to say they need your help, but as long as they know you're there, that's what's important. So please take care of yourself during this mental health awareness month. Yeah. Shout out to all the hardworking moms out there who have been putting in work and shout out to the moms who uh, foster moms, step parents, all that step moms and all that. Cause let's not forget, you know, other people who help grow. It's a community, you know, this being a parent, it's a whole community being a mom. It's a whole community that you have behind you. So give a shout out to the grandmamas, the aunties, the uncles, everybody who helps moms out not just moms, foster moms, step moms, all the moms, okay? Um, dog moms. <laughs> cause child don't let y'all cause one thing the dog mama gonna do be like, this is my weekend too. So <laughs> let's not forget the dog moms because they be out there too. The dog and the cat mamas, but I feel like the dog mamas be real like, this my baby, this my child. I seen that last year and I was like, okay, so we got to include all the mamas, pet moms, all that. So um, have a great weekend, Mother's Day, celebrate your mom, celebrate the woman that carried your children, <laughs> celebrate the kids, take them out and let mama be by herself. <laughs> and enjoy her day and let her rest sleep in cook her breakfast just give her food and maybe some mimosas some champagne and leave her alone let her be her y'all ain't gotta be there <laughs> let her enjoy motherhood in peace for once uh so 
<laughs> yeah. Anywho, y'all have a great one. Make sure you subscribe and like this video, share this with a mom that you know, and uh, hit me up on Instagram. That is Ricky Edits Life. And also on Twitter, also on TikTok. And you can check me out, of course, here on YouTube as well. And make sure you like the podcast, get it, give it a review. If you've been listening since day one, if not, that's okay. But <laughs> give us a review, five stars, because you like me. You really like me. But yeah, rate and review, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like, comment, share, engage, leave a comment. Tell me how you're spending your Mother's Day or how you're going to spend your Mother's Day with whoever you're going to spend it with. And yeah, let's just have a good time. And yeah, enjoy this month of May because it was, it's going to be June soon and then it's going to be hot and then the girls are going to be out because it's a hot girl summer. Is it still a hot girl summer? I don't know. But yeah, that's all I wanted. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Be you, be wonderful, be gracious. Don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, take time, breathe, and be one. No, I'm just kidding. Be one, OB Kenobi. Um, be one with yourself. Now, um, be wonderful, be great, take a break, and relax. Relax, relate, release. Come on. <laughs> and I will see you on the next video. All right, y'all.